What's going on today, guys? Um, I'm bringing to y'all today. I'm making a shooting tree or a dueling tree, as some say. It's either or. Um, I have uh, pictures of all the materials I'm going to be using. Um, I have a uh, roughly six inch plates and I have an arm on them. And I'll be attaching it with a uh, one inch nipples onto this uh, it's inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter angle iron. It's roughly 10, or it is 10 foot, a little over, but I'm going to start from the top and work my way down and make sure everything has movement and can swing. But uh, I'll be coming about roughly around $100 into the uh, the whole project when they uh, they run about two to $300. And uh, I saw some cheap ones, but uh, a lot of them also were 22 This is uh, still rated for 5.56. Five, and uh, nine millimeter where I'll be shooting at it. Um, and uh, I'll be trying to go over everything that you possibly, uh, all the detail measurements I'll have and uh, try to show it in step. I'll do a time lapse. Uh, that way I show how I do it and that way you can do it at the house and save you a little bit of money. I'll try to put links of everything in below. Uh, I got the, the plates on Amazon and I got the nipples at the hardware store and I went to here the locally uh, steel shop and got the angle iron. Um, I have a welder. This is the essential tools for welding, and there's not much to it. I have a tape measure, measuring everything. It's pretty much all the tools you need. And uh, if you just follow through, uh, I'm gonna do a time lapse on it and show it step by step. And uh, you can do this at the house as long as you got a welder and go buy a few parts, and then that way you can have your dual tree for less. Like I said, a hundred dollars or less. So.
well guys i hope you enjoyed it um this concludes everything uh, i'll have a video up later on shooting it but uh hopefully the time lapse and everything will work out smoothly and you can see everything and how it goes if you got any questions anything how everything went uh comment down below and i'll do everything i can to help you out y'all have a great day I didn't shoot the top one because it's above the berm and I didn't want any ricochets uh, going up. So I didn't know if, uh, I didn't see any ricochets or where the bullet projectile was going, but I'd just be safe. I kept everything kind of below the berm. Um, everything worked great. I had leaned forward a little bit. As you can see, uh, um, some bricks and stuff and shooting and all that was crumbled, but I had it tilted forward just a little bit and it, uh, it worked great. I. Um, Expected them to kind of be a little hard, but I mean, the nine that's a nine millimeter and shoot my Glock 19 and I had enough power to swing them on around. So, uh, look forward to more great videos of this. I'm gonna have uh, my buddy and Brian, he loves to shoot, he's just like me, and uh, a little competition going here soon. So, uh, Brian, this is me calling you out when you watch the video, it's go time. Hope you liked everything. Uh, you got any questions, just ask me, I'll uh, answer anything I possibly can. And hopefully the video or the build and everything will help you kind of decide how you want to do yours or if you have any questions or even an idea or design on how to do it. Um, any kind of questions at all, just ask me and I'll help you out. Measurements or anything, I'm about an inch and a half apart. And uh, the, from the bottom of the pipe, the little uh, nipples, from the bottom of the pipe to the next top one is four and uh, three eighths. Alright guys, well that's it. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, just like and subscribe to the button down below and uh, there'll be more videos to come. Y'all have a great day. Bye.